glory to Jesus Christ. When we were little, an occasional question that we may have asked, or that someone may have asked of us, would be what our parents did for a living. You know, what does your father do? What does your mother do? And in response, we might say, for example, my father is a policeman. My father's an architect. My father's a ditch digger. My mother's a nurse or an office worker. My mother's a homemaker. All of these things are possibilities. But see here that our mind draws our response to say even more than simply what our mother or father does, but to say what they are. We identify their occupation in some way with their being. We identify what they do with who they are. My father is a ditch digger. My mother is a homemaker. And even further than this, we also identify a person's relationship with their being. Because of relationship, we say that someone is our father, someone is our mother, they don't simply have fatherhood or motherhood directed towards us. But rather, we see this relationship of parent and child fundamentally affects the very being of those people. I think any parent with enough self-awareness would agree and could attest that becoming a parent has affected a most profound change in their own being. And thus, more rightly than any other occupation, when asked what one's parents do, the answer truly is... My father is my father. My mother is my mother. Our mother, the church, strives to pass on that which she has received, the faith, once delivered to the apostles. But notice this. The church does not simply say things to us or publish letters, make things known after the fashion of secular news providers, because that's not what she calls us to. That's not how she teaches us, her children. What does your mother do? My mother is such and such an occupation. Here, the church is our mother. And what does our mother do? She is a prayer. She prays. She is a worshiper. She is a glorifier. And the liturgy is what she does. She wishes us to learn of that faith once delivered, that faith held and proclaimed by the Father's and we learn best not simply by listening to what is said, but by watching what is done. We learn best by participating in what is done. We learn and we grow only by being with our mother, the church, in her worship of her divine bridegroom. For it is one thing simply to know, simply to say yes, to assent to the teachings of the church. Even the devils can know that they're true. So what? The faith is not an intellectual exercise. The possession of all the so-called truths of the faith without relationship to Christ, the author of those truths, is no faith at all. It's no life at all. Remember how relationship affects profound change in one's being? That necessary relationship is established only with and in Christ's Immaculate Bride, the Church. And the church incorporates us into her relationship with Christ only by what she does. And what she does is her liturgy, liturgical prayer. And history bears this out. Where the liturgy has ceased, the faith is invariably forgotten within a very short time. Even if a memory of the faith lingers, it is but that, a memory. And soon it becomes, at the very best, a parody of faith, and at the very worst, it's simple apostasy. But on the other hand, even in the times of gravest persecution, when one, even if he or she is a simple, solitary lay person, when that one person remains faithful to the liturgical prayer of the church, praying the hours, or praying the salt, or praying the typica, joining their own hearts and their own minds and their own voices to the heart and the mind and the voice of the church, as she does what she does, and rightly worships and glorifies her divine spouse, there the faith can be held. There the light of the faith remains lit, even in the darkest of times. And this path is open to us all, every one of us. So come, come and see the profound difference 
made by relationship to the church, effected by doing what she does in praying the liturgical prayer of the church. And then truly may we be the children of the Immaculate Bride. Then truly may we be changed in our being, becoming children of the light.